what happens to ovulation and fertility when you use hormonal birth control it's one of the biggest questions on most ladies minds and to be honest it's probably why you have clicked onto this video you want to know how will this birth control method affect my fertility and what you really want to know is is it going to damage or permanently destroy my fertility so in this video we're going to look at different birth control methods and whether they affect ovulation and fertility and whether those effects are permanent or reversible and as a bonus if you watch all the way to the end i'm going to share with you how one non-hormonal method the copper coil can potentially affect fertility Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Sylvia. I'm a general practitioner and health educator with Ask Away Health. Here, we talk about health information that will help you learn more about your bodies and feel and be better. So if this is the kind of information that you love to hear about, you've come to the right place. Thank you so much. I hope you will like this video and subscribe to the channel. And when you've done that, please come and follow us on all our different social media platforms. We are at Ask Away Health on Twitter, TikTok, talk facebook instagram the works and friends i've also opened my channel membership so if you love the work that we're doing on this channel and you'd like to support it and support health education for everyone please come and be a member one of the other perks that you will get is that you will be able to recommend a video that we might do in the future on this channel so today we are examining the changes that happen as they affect fertility and ovulation when you're on different birth control methods. A little look at how they work and then talking about whether it's reversible or not. Understanding this information can help you make informed decision about the choice of birth control method that you want to make going forward. Now, just as an overview, hormonal birth control methods use synthetic or man-made hormones in order to prevent pregnancy they generally work by altering the hormone balance in the body some also alter the cervical mucus that is the mucus discharge that the womb produces and they can also affect the lining the tissue inside the womb let's start with the combined pill the combined pill contains man-made versions of the hormone estrogen and progesterone it works by preventing or suppressing ovulation that is the release of a mature egg from one of the ovaries and the way it does this is by stopping the body's production of hormones follicle stimulating hormone fsh and luteinizing hormone lh the pill can also make the cervical mucus thicker which makes it more difficult for the sperm to travel to meet the egg if it has been released at ovulation when you stop taking the birth control pill ovulation typically resumes within one to three months in other words it has a reversible effect on your fertility next up is the mini pill the mini pill contains only one of those synthetic hormones progesterone and the main way it works is by making the cervical mucus thicker and as i said earlier this will prevent or make it more difficult for the sperm to meet the egg and fertilize but it can also thin the lining of the womb making it more difficult for an egg if it has been fertilized to implant with the mini pill suppressing ovulation is not as consistent as it is with the combined pill but after you stop taking the mini pill your fertility will also resume so this is another method that is reversible next let's look at the progesterone implant the progesterone implant is a small flexible rod that is placed under the skin of your upper arm and it works by releasing from that area a continuous dose of the hormone progesterone this will work to make your cervical mucus thicker make the lining of the womb thinner and in some cases can suppress your body's production of the hormones fsh and lh preventing ovulation after you've taken out the implant ovulation typically returns within a few weeks or months and with it your fertility the next hormone method we want to look at is the depot progesterone shot the depo shot is an injection of the progesterone hormone typically taken every three months it may be a little bit shorter for some brands of progesterone shot it too can suppress ovulation by preventing the production of fsh and lh so that the egg is not released it will also thicken cervical mucus making it difficult for sperm to travel 
and make the womb lining thinner so that even if the egg is released and fertilized it's not able to implant in the womb and the effects of the depot shot are also reversible however it may take a longer time than the other methods for ovulation and fertility to return in some women it could be up to 10 or even 12 months or longer the next method to look at is the progesterone intrauterine system or ius which is also the progesterone coil some of you may know this as Myrina, Jades, and there are other different brands available. So the progesterone IUS, as the name says, is a device that contains progesterone, which is placed inside the womb. From within the womb, it produces and releases progesterone and by so doing can thin the lining of the womb. It is also able to make the cervical mucus thicker and it can also affect ovulation, suppressing the production of FSH and LH as we've mentioned with other progesterone containing birth control methods. When the progesterone IUS is taken out of the womb, ovulation and fertility typically return within a few weeks to months. So again, it is a reversible birth control method. So now we've gone through most of the hormone containing birth control methods. Remember that the birth control patch, the birth control ring work in a similar way to the birth control pill. So their effect is reversible, just as I described for the birth control pill. Because you've been totally amazing and stayed with me up to this point, let me share with you the bonus as I promised. How does the non-hormonal method, the copper coil or copper IUD, how does it affect ovulation and fertility? So the copper coil is a non-hormonal contraceptive method. It doesn't contain any hormones. The device which sits in the womb is produced using copper and copper is the way that it works to prevent pregnancy. How does that work? Copper acts as a spermicide, preventing the sperm from reaching the egg to fertilize it. In other words, by the copper being present within the womb, it creates an unpleasant or unfriendly environment for the sperm so that it will prevent fertilization and implantation. Since it does not suppress ovulation, this method is reversible and upon its removal, your fertility returns almost immediately. So we've seen how the different hormonal birth control methods have reversible effects on ovulation and fertility. They may have slightly different ways of acting from one to the other, but the overall aim is to prevent pregnancy from happening either by preventing ovulation or affecting the cervical mucus or the lining of the womb. The combined pill, mini pill, progesterone implant and progesterone IUS generally suppress ovulation with fertility returning within a few months after you stop them. The depot shot may take longer for fertility to resume, while non-hormonal methods like the copper coil do not affect ovulation or fertility. So understanding these methods, how they work and whether or not their effect is reversible in some cases, is important for you to be able to make your decision about choosing a method and your family planning process. If you have any further questions or concerns, please consult a healthcare provider. You can reach me using our email health information service. I will place the link for you in the description box. In this video, we've looked at different birth control methods and their effect on fertility. So why don't you check out our playlist here where we look at a range of different methods, their side effects and other effects you might expect to happen when you are using them. I hope you found this video helpful. Please let me know in the comments section below. Remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I will see you again soon.